There are a ton of different snakes in existence, from venomous to outright friendly. The snakes on our list today are sure to get you excited. This is one of the prettiest reticulated pythons in the world, as far as I'm concerned. From unique, magical, rainbow-colored snakes to the smallest and misidentified serpents, here are 15 times it looked like a normal snake until someone got close to it. Number 15. Sea snake goes paddle boarding. If there is a time that a sea snake will bite, it's when it can't find a mate. Sea snakes in particular are notorious for this. As evident in this footage, this snake just swam right up to the paddle boarder without a moment's hesitation, simply because it was looking for a mate. As these snakes grow older, the younger snakes dominate the mating process. Essentially, the older ones get bullied out of the way, leaving them frustrated and more hostile. If this had been a satiated snake, he probably would have never even approached the paddle board. At one point, the snake even tries to climb on board, but is deterred by the user. I mean, this thing makes a straight beeline when it thinks it might have located a mate. If you weren't a trained professional and had this happen to you, you might find this situation extremely intense. How would you manage if you saw this monster snake heading right at you without any sense of hesitation? While snakes don't often approach humans, these serpents are out, about, and searching for love when mating season comes around. Somehow, the boarder manages to scare it away by simply saying no. He must be some sort of snake whisperer. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. When this image first surfaced on the internet, it was generating all sorts of buzz. It was first suspected of being a red king cobra, but the absence of a hood snuffed this theory out. With that idea nixed, people explained that it was a corn snake, but that still doesn't explain the vibrant color. So what sort of snake is it? Is it a new species, one of unique coloring, or the subject of another internet hoax? Corn snakes are typically bright red, but patterned and mixed with yellows, browns, and other reds. This snake is neon red. Remember, typically, the brighter the color, the more dangerous they are when it comes to particular creatures. Their brightness stands for stay away, I'm dangerous. This snake won't be hiding in the desert or grasses anytime soon, so its red coloring must do with its defense mechanisms. The baby snakes on the ground exhibit a more corn snake-like pattern with its scales, but some still exhibit the bright red of the parent. Do you know what this snake is? Is it the work of Photoshop magic? If you can, ID it in the comments by using the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Aww. Number 14, Magical Rainbow Snake. This snake's coloring is magical and one of a kind. This rare, unique serpent was born years ago in the American Reptile Zoo. Its coloring comes from two specific types of snake genes that shine through. Yeah, this snake was selectively bred with two different snakes, but the coloring results were not expected. Celebrities and tourists around the country come to see this one-of-a-kind snake. Without light bouncing off its refracting scales, this snake appears midnight black. Let that sun hit, though, and its colors pop like someone took a highlighter to its scales. The reticulated python has since gone viral on social media, with snake lovers and haters admiring the exuberant color it presents. Her handlers say she's non-poisonous and a super sweet snake. The two species of snakes bred together to form this stunning display were that of Motley and Golden Child. Jay Brewer, the zoo's founder, named her My Love and says she stands as one of the zoo's best exhibits to ever arrive. Number 13. Puzzle Solving Snake. Researchers are pushing the boundaries about what they understand about animal intelligence. At first, they were thought to be the brainless creatures acting on instinct alone. But hordes of evidence emerged and proved that maybe there's something more tickling those brains. Sure, some animals are still considered brainless, but others suspected of such are baffling scientists. Take this puzzle-solving snake who solves a switch food puzzle with little effort. Once it figures out how to do it once, it's as easy as pie from then on out. It remarkably pushes back those switches and gets to the mouse food in little time, over and over again. Researchers then change the place of the food, and the snake knows how to go about getting it. It took only 15 minutes for the snakes to knock out the whole puzzle, and on its first time, this proves the snakes have some aptitude in problem solving. Still, it's for food and instinctual motivation. 
Still, when other snakes attempted, they just moved on to the easier prey. This means that either the snake enjoyed the puzzle and wanted to keep doing it or figured it was worth its time. It certainly had its fill when all was said and done. Number 12. Snake Impersonator The hawk moth caterpillar is credited with having one of the best camouflages of all time. Who needs to blend in and disappear from sight when you have a trick like this up your sleeve? If predators get too close to the moth, it can mimic the shape and look of another dangerous predator, the viper. Few creatures on the forest floor would dare challenge a viper poised to strike, so the defense works remarkably well. It should remain relatively safe as long as this moth doesn't go out into the open or into tree canopies. That's to say, wherever a viper is in danger of attack, this moth will be. Watching them in action is incredible. They really flex on a predator foolish enough to step up to the viper. When the caterpillar finally metamorphoses, it can hover in flight to mimic a hummingbird and avoid the predator eyes of birds above. This trick doesn't always work to the keenest of predators, but it does the trick more often than not. The camouflage is located on the caterpillar's underside. It reveals the viper-like pattern by dangling from a branch in a specific manner. Then, by sucking in air through holes in its body, it inflates its head to look larger, like a viper's, including its venom glands and all. Talk about attention to detail. Number 11. Two-Headed Milk Snake What happens when a snake is born with two heads? It sees itself as prey and tries to eat itself. Apparently, not only is a two-headed snake a super rare occurrence, but one that's albino too is almost unheard of. It's the reason this owner of this crazy-looking serpent dished out over 50 grand to add it to its collection of exotic animals. Typically, these kinds of animals don't live long or are euthanized. Still, a man named Todd Ray, the famed Venice Beach freak show owner, scooped him up to be with all the other crazy-looking animals. In addition to this two-headed serpent, Todd has a double-snouted dog and a double-faced cat. This snake will fit right at home and can be seen at the Venice Beach exhibition year-round. Todd thought long and hard about what to call this double-headed milk snake and finally landed on the apt name of Medusa. It could be one of her heirs. He already holds the world record for biggest collection of two-headed animals, and Medusa only adds to the growing legend. Talking of Medusa, he said some other two-headed snakes are beautiful, but they have a kink where their heads conjoin. Medusa is rare in that it doesn't do this. It's a testament to how far along the two were developed before joining. Number 10. The Hairy Viper The wild-looking snake is called the Hair Viper for apparent reasons. Spiny bush vipers are native to Central Africa, amongst tropical regions like rainforests and swamps. These spined serpents are highly venomous, but never grow very big. Since they live in the trees most days, their typical food is small rodents, insects, and birds. They come equipped with a potent neurotoxin that causes severe organ hemorrhaging within a manner of hours. Of course, the toxin's potency widely depends on the individual snake, but would be best avoided. They're solitary, nocturnal creatures that spend most of their day hiding and basking in the sun atop flowering, bushy plants, hence where bush viper originated. Like many other vipers, it's an ambush predator, waiting for the opportune moment to strike from its well-camouflaged perch. Needless to say, if the snake's toxin can do that damage to humans, small mammals don't stand a chance. Number 9. Largest Snake in Captivity Apparently, Medusa is a popular name for a snake for obvious reasons. This monster measured 26.2 feet long and was found, in all places, in a home that was considered haunted by locals. The 15-year-old python maxed out at a whopping 350 pounds. To this day, it holds the record of the most giant snake ever kept in captivity. Sadly, she's since passed but still keeps the record on paper. Just three days after it was found and captured in Malaysia, the snake went into stress labor and passed away moments later. The captors said they had no idea she was pregnant, otherwise they would have left her alone and not risked the health of any of the snakes. The team later came under heavy scrutiny for their lack of caution and observation. When humans intervene in any natural process without understanding it to the full extent, results like this are often the case. Medusa was said to be in a healthy condition when captured. So the captor-led gave the go-ahead. He was fired from his job after. By the time they brought the snake into medical services, a slew of health problems that even exotic veterinarians couldn't treat had plagued her. The stress proved to be too much. She and all babies passed. 
pedestrian spotted the gigantic serpent near an overpass where the ground had been heavily disturbed during construction work. Workers immediately called emergency services upon spotting the monster snake. It took nearly an hour to catch the massive beast who stayed shored up in a highly agitated and defensive state throughout the encounter. Another sign the beast was pregnant. Number 8. World's Smallest Snake the Barbados thread snake is recognized as the world's smallest snake species, only reaching a mere maximum length of 4.1 inches long. These tiny little creatures don't have the tools their larger cousins share, so they're forced to consume tiny insects, eggs, and larvae as their primary food source. Even though they can still detach their jaws, it still opens only a wee bit. When it was first spotted in 2008, experts weren't sure if it was a worm or a snake. These snakes are so small that they're already half their adulthood length when they first hatch from the eggs. In other words, they don't have much growing to do straight from birth. It's considered non-venomous, so you don't have to worry about some nasty secret bite. Like worms, they live underground and thread themselves through the dirt in search of insects and nests. Since they can only lay one egg at a time, keeping their numbers up has been a struggle. Though it was discovered in 2008, a pair was misidentified as far back as 1889. Number 7. Cuddly Pet Python You'd have to be pretty brave to allow a giant python this close to your child, but lucky for these people, a beautiful relationship emerged. Still, with a snake so giant it could literally eat the kid, you wouldn't want to leave the two alone. Owning a python as a pet is not everyone's dream. However, the young Cambodian child named Sambath lived side by side with a 20-foot long, 260-pound python since he was a toddler. The strangest part of it all is that a few days after Sambath's birth, his mother had a dream where a giant snake protected her family from doom. Three months after the dream, she discovered a tiny snake under his bed. Her memories went instinctively to the dream. They did the right thing, releasing it into the wild, but it came back. Not once, not twice, but multiple times. This is not typical snake behavior. Eventually, the family adopted the python and brought it into their family. From then on, the boy and the snake were inseparable and even played together. We're talking roughhousing, hide and seek, you name it, the duo plays it. The parents say that they shared a bond as infants while the boy tried to walk, the newborn snake tried to slither. This formed a strange, inseparable bond between the two that's apparent in all senses. Number 6. Flying Snakes If you take away one of the snake's most serious disadvantages, how low it is to the ground, they become significantly more dangerous. With this in mind, you better watch out for flying snakes because they won't be biting at your ankles, they'll be biting at your face. Flying snakes can be found living in the trees of South and Southeast Asia. There, they cruise along tree branches and, sometimes, as if with magic, get to the forest floor by launching themselves into the air and gliding down at an angle. No, they haven't grown wings, but this is not the only way flights work. By undulating their serpentine bodies when in the air, these serpents can glide effortlessly to the ground. So, if you see a snake in the air and it's headed in your direction, you better duck. You don't want one of these babies dropping on your head. The distance they can travel typically depends on how high they are in the trees and how far they can launch themselves from it. Number 5. Wessi the Giant Snake When a giant snake just shows up out of nowhere and starts terrorizing a town, you know you better watch it when sending your kids out to play. In fact, the 10-foot elusive behemoth was seen eating a beaver where kids often do play. No one believed there was a snake this size living in Westbrook. But when animal carcasses and shed skin started turning up, they couldn't help but accept the truth. Those lucky enough to have spotted the monster said it was as long as a truck and its head was as big as a soccer ball. People have been hunting him down ever since, but he seems to have a knack for evading capture. So far, no one has been hurt, but she's still suspected of prowling the areas and feeding on large mammals like beavers and raccoons. So what will this snake consider a meal next? Number 4. Rare Tentacled Snake The newest additions of the Reptile Discovery Center within the legendary Smithsonian's National Zoo surprised everyone, even the zookeepers who'd been observing the whole thing from the beginning. Eight tentacled snakes were born to parents that have been unable to produce viable offspring in the four years of their stay at the zoo, even with the intervention of humans and attempts at forced breeding. Tentacled snakes are fascinating creatures, they're aquatic, and are considered ambush predators. 
They use their tails to anchor themselves to something in the water and lash out the moment prey dares encroach. The tentacles that protrude from their snout function as sensory mechanisms that allow the reptiles to pick up vibrations from fish swimming by. In other words, this snake doesn't even need to see its prey to attack. Instead, the vibrations alert it to the presence long before it could have seen it. Number 3. Island of Snakes It may first appear to be an island paradise, but don't pack up your vacation materials just yet. Ilha de Quemada Grande, as it's called, is anything but a paradise for humans. More likely, it'd be considered a nightmare for many. Unless you consider being wholly surrounded by ferocious, venomous snakes to be paradise, in that case, this place will be for you. Though admittedly, not very long. The island, aptly dubbed the Island of Snakes, has been untouched by humans for years. The extreme population of venomous snakes is an easy deterrent, even for wildlife experts studying the site. The island is entirely dominated and owned by the serpents. Here, these slithering snakes reign as judge, jury, and executioner. Biologists estimate the snakes are so prevalent that you can find between one and five per square meter. That's not even large enough for an average adult foot to step. You couldn't even walk here. It's considered one of the most heavily dense populations of snakes on the planet and a breeding haven for many rare species that can only be found there. Researchers are dying for a chance to study some of these rare creatures. They manage to thrive there because of their plentiful buffet of migratory birds that stop on the island for a migratory break before heading to their final destination. In fact, the food is so numerous that experts believe it drove the snakes there in the place. It might not be so terrible if the snakes were, say, two inches long and non-venomous, but these fiends are a unique pit viper dubbed the Golden Lancehead that sports a potent, toxic bite. Number 2. Leaf-Nosed Snake It's pretty obvious where this serpent got its name. Its nose looks like a leaf. They're a species of poisonous snakes, also known as Madagascar snakes, full of mystery. These snakes have character-defining scaly appendages protruding from their snout. They appear jagged and leaf-like in the females, while the scales are long and tapered in the males. Both possess a nasty bite. The creatures are generally arboreal, and the exact purpose for the odd appendages is still unknown. Experts surmise it's some sort of bundle of sensors that allows it to navigate and find prey easier in its habitat. Number 1. Horned Snake the Saharan horned snake is one devilish-looking serpent. Maybe this guy right here is the reason demons and devils are often associated with snakes. It's a venomous snake native to the deserts of northern Africa and parts of the Middle East and master of disguise. It blends into the golden, sandy deserts with remarkable ability. It practically disappears, save for those namesake horns. They're nocturnal creatures and typically spend their days burrowing in the sand, protecting them against the harsh heat of the desert sun. There are some terrifying snakes in the world, and these on this list are only a few. We've seen examples of excellent relationships and deadly dangers presented here, but one thing remains the same between them all. These creatures are wild animals and should be respected as such. If not, you could find yourself on the receiving end of a potent bite. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.